This is for those of you that have bent or otherwise banged up or broken your tie rod on the trails. The tie rod does hang in a location that it can fairly easily be banged up on the rocks. And if you're going to be replacing it, you might as well replace it with something much stronger than factory to give you the peace of mind of knowing that's not going to happen the next time you're out on the trail. So this is going to be significantly stronger than that factory tie rod would be. And this is also going to be right around the same price as the other heavy duty tie rods that are on the market, making this a pretty good choice. This is made out of a 1018 DOM steel tube, so there are no welds, there are no seams. This is solid drawn over mandrel tubing, which is going to be very, very strong. It's actually going to be a quarter inch wall thickness. The tie rods themselves are 7 8 inch tie rods. They are a taper fit, so they're going to fit right into those factory steering knuckles without any issues. Of course, this is going to be double adjustable, so you can very easily set the toe of the Jeep while this is still installed. It comes with your castle nuts, it comes with your grease fittings, and of course with your cotter pins to make sure everything stays together. And this also comes pre-assembled with your jam nuts already set and ready to go. Now when you do install something like this, I always recommend using a good bit of anti-seize between the tie rod and the rod itself. That'll ensure that you can adjust the toe down the line without things rusting solid. But anytime you have a jam nut in play, you wanna make sure that there's no anti-seize underneath the jam nut or it won't be able to do its job. Getting this installed is gonna be a very simple one out of three wrench installation that shouldn't take you more than an hour to complete. The first step is, of course, removing that factory tie rod, which you'll do by removing the cotter pins and then removing the castle nuts. Now, depending on the situation of your Jeep, depending on how much rust you have or the last time you removed your tie rod, you may have some trouble getting those castle nuts off with just a wrench or a socket. The castle nut could be fused to the shaft on the tie rod end and the whole ball could be spinning on the inside of that tie rod end. So you may have to use an impact, whether it's air or power, to get that removed. Once you have the castle nut off, chances are, because these are a taper fit, that the tie rod end is still going to be stuck inside of your steering knuckle. And the best way to get that removed is not to hit down on the threaded end of the tie rod end, but actually hit perpendicular to that tie rod end on the steering knuckle. That's gonna be the best way to pop that taper fit out. Once you have that removed completely, you can set your old tie rod end on the ground next to your new one and make some adjustments to get your new tie rod set to the proper length. That's going to affect the toe of your Jeep. Once you roughly have that set, go ahead and set the jam nut so nothing changes, get it set into your steering knuckles and use the castle nuts that are included to get this bolted in place finally installing the cotter pins to ensure that those castle nuts can't back out. Now, at this point, you can go ahead and set your toe further if you don't wanna go based off of the measurements that you already took. There are a couple of ways to set your toe in your driveway. It is going to be a fairly simple process. At the end of this installation, before you drive down the road, you are going to want to install your Zerk fittings. You're going to want to grease this up and make sure you have plenty of grease on those tie rod ends to ensure that they wear properly. This tie rod comes in at right around $145, and most of the other ones on the website are going to be of a similar price and a similar strength. So I think this is a pretty good buy if you're looking for something stronger than factory. So that's my review of the Rugged Ridge Monster tie rod with tie rod ends fitting your 1997 to 2006 TJ that you can find right here at extremeterrain.com.